Where did you get the horse? Tate? Tate is our friend. Where are you going? To Captain George. Don't go, please, Father. Winter is coming. Our people will be cold, hungry. Tate says Captain George is angry with us. Why do you walk? To save our horses for when we'll need them. Take my horse, Father. Go home, Willow. Please take him. Tate's horse. Tate is our friend. Why must you go on hating him? He's white. Tate is our friend. That bad for a pillow. Can I have him take? Can I? Well, I don't know. Ah, oh, come on, please, you promise. When? Maybe you didn't. But I can ride pretty good. You sure can. Good. Now I can ride against the Indians. I told you to forget that kind of talk. You'll never get a horse you keep talking that way. That's a promise. I didn't mean it, Tate. All right. Open the gate and put your horse away. My horse? Go ahead. He's supposed to be the dumb one. Come on. What's up, Crutch? They're coming into town, Marshal. The old man and the boy. See you later, Billy. Pretty tall for beggars, ain't they? Where do you think you're going, Chief? Not so fast. Not so fast, Chief. Let him go. That's better. Now I can get back to your jokes. junk. Well, what is it this time? I ask you a question. Captain, winter is coming. Our people need clothes. Who cares what your people need? It's what my people need that counts. And we need food and clothing, too. My people need. 
Well, I'll tell you what I need. I need you out of here. You understand that? Out of here. Out of the Black Hills and down to the reservation. That's what I need, and that's what I'm going to get. Boy, if it wasn't for your friend Tate here, I'd sent you and the whole mess packing long ago. Take it easy. So, go on now. Come on. Start packing. You agree with me now that it doesn't pay to be nice to them? That they're not going to go peacefully? Tate, I've tried your way. It doesn't work. From now on, it's going to be my way. There's going to be no more begging, no more charity, no more nothing. You're getting out. Now. The people in this town don't want you here. You saw how they acted when you, when you came in, that just now. They're getting itchy. So go on now. Get out of the reservation in Oklahoma like the government order says. This is our home. Now, you listen to me, Yellow Wolf, and listen hard. This is our home. Our home. We paid for every inch of this ground that we got here, not with money, with blood. And we're going to stay here. And the Cheyennes are going to get out. Now! Where'd you get it? Found it. There's much more where that came from. Well, why'd you bring it to me? I ask you a question. Why did you bring the gold to me? Is this another one of your Cheyenne tricks? Not a trick. We know the white man is hungry for gold. We are hungry for our homes. Strictly a business deal, huh? What do you think, Tate? Sounds like a fair transaction. Their gold for their homes. You got nothing to lose, Captain. Yeah, well, that's the kind of a deal I like. All right, Chief. I'll ride out tomorrow and take a look at the rest of this. If it's like you say, we'll make a deal. This is not a white man's trick. <laughs> He's throwing it right back at me. Only, uh, you haven't got anything to bargain with, have you? I'll see you tomorrow, Chief. Son up. I better go with you. No. Maybe I can help. No, Tate. Hey. I want to talk to you.
killed him. I said who killed him. Looks like he was murdered. Nobody murdered him. He and his son probably did That's something. That's a lie. That he was murdered. And you know it. Talk sense, Tate. Where are you going to find a witness? Isn't a person in this town who hasn't had kin murdered by Indians? Fight's one thing. Murder's another. See that he gets buried, Sergeant. Okay. I just want to tell you something for your own good. Don't go forgetting whose side you're on. A lot of people around here wonder about you. All right, now, Garvin, tell me, what happened? The gun went off. Well, I know that. Look, I told you just to rough him up a little, just to scare him. That's right. But from the way you told me, I got the idea that you wanted a little more than that. What about Tate? Can he do anything? Not if I take that tin starters away from him. How many Cheyenne would you say there are altogether? A couple hundred? No more than that. How many they could fight? Not many. Fifty. Maybe less. Where'd you get that? Off your desk. It's a parting gift from the late Yellow Wolf. He said there's plenty more where this came from. She'd sure like to go digging for some of that. Well, we gotta clear them out first before we start digging. Are you sure they won't fight? How can they? They got no guns, no many horses. But the biggest thing is, they've got no chief to lead them now. So why don't we go in and clean them out? What are you waiting for? Use your head, will you? I mean, uh, uh, there's no need for any fighting now. With Yellow Wolf out of the way, the whole tribe will, well, it'll just move out without any trouble at all. All we gotta do is just uh, go in there tomorrow and start uh, rounding them up. Ah, uh, Tate. You're supposed to be the expert on Indians around here. What do you think they'll do? They'll be back. How, on foot? <laughs> <laughs> Little Wolf's been spoiling for a fight. The old chief was strong enough to keep him in line. But now it's different. And hey, maybe he's more of an expert on Indian women than he is an Indian man, huh? They'd rather die than leave these hills. They'll be back, Captain. There's an order from Washington, Tate. It says that the Cheyenne are to be taken down to Oklahoma as fast as possible by whatever means you find expedient. By whatever means I find expedient. That means that I can go in there tomorrow and clean out the whole bunch if I want to. Oh, well, why don't you? They got nothing to fight with. You're scared of them, Captain. You always have been. That's the real reason why you don't go in and wipe them out, isn't it? Hey, Tate! Tate, wait for me! Oh, you've got warm legs. Where you been? Over at Dick's party. This is a birthday. Birthday party? What'd they do, serve you mud? Dick pushed me the pig trough, but you ought to see him. Get your horse put away? I am nothing to it. Where are we going? I heard about Yellow Wolf. What'd you hear? That he's dead. He started some trouble over at headquarters and he got shot. He didn't start anything. He was just shot. That's not what Dick's pop said. I don't care what he said. Yellow Wolf was murdered. Well, Dick's pop says you can't murder Indians. Come on, let's go. Where are we going? First, I've got to meet someone. And I'll come back here and help you get packed. We're getting out of here. Getting out where? I don't know. Back east, maybe we'll find a place. 
But I like it here. All my friends are here. I'm not going to go, Chase. You can't make me. You're not my father. Go on inside and get washed up for dinner. Amy, see if you get something to eat, will you? You want us to wait for you, Tate? I'll be too late. You have to go, Tate. Wait. Wait a minute. Can't you come in and have your supper now? Everything will be cold by the time you get back. You've got to meet somebody. Please, Tate. Say, Tate. Some of us just held a meeting at Captain George's office. That's nice. We decided we're going to have a new marshal. Someone who's more interested in looking out for us than for Indians. So? So we'll take the star, Tate. Go ahead. Take it. I wouldn't worry about getting a new marshal. I'd worry about getting a law against murder. Just doesn't want to seem to go with you, Garvin. I wonder why. Tom's got his eye out on you, Tate. But not forget whose side you're on. Are you and George around, I'll never forget. Now get out of my way. waited so long. I almost didn't make it. I'm glad you waited. I always wait. My father told me to return to our village, but I didn't hear him. Don't worry, Tate. My father and brother walked to Sand Creek today. Without horses, it will take them a long time to return home. When you look that way, I know what you'll say. This time, it's different. I've said it before, but this time I mean it. We're going someplace where they're all through fighting. My father says there will be no more fighting. He has something to give Captain George so he won't send us away. Your father's dead. He was killed. My brother? He got away. Where are you going? To my brother. Wait a minute. My father is dead. Let me go. You're not going any place. Let George and Little Wolf fight it out. I love you, Willow. I want you to be my wife. I want you to go away with me. This is my home. It's the white man's home. The country's changing. You've got to change with it. And I want to help you. What will happen? Captain George thinks without a chief, he can force your people to the Indian territory without a fight. My brother is the chief now. George doesn't think he'll fight. Do you? Yes. He'll fight to his death. I know. But 
but I don't want to be around when it happens. I've had enough fighting. The Black Hills are my home. There's a time to fight. But this is a time not to. You've got everything to lose. The Cheyennes have nothing to lose. We lose. You and me. Yes, we lose. Say what the captain will do? The captain doesn't think we'll fight. Does Tate? Tonight we will raid. Come back with the white man's horses, guns, and bullets. Our father would not fight. Our father is dead. If you attack them, Captain will come with the army. They'll kill us all. Without horses and guns, they'll not come so fast. Then we'll go back. This time, take Sand Creek. Kill the captain. Kill Tate. Make Sand Creek shy and home again. Tomorrow, you'll see Tate for the last time. Find out what Captain George has planned against us. It's not right for you to ask me. It was not right for them to kill our father. on mine. I know what he's got in mind, that little Indian girl he is. <laughs> yeah, they tell me that she's really got that old Indian side on you, Tate. One more crack like that and I'll wrap the place up with you. Yeah, well, you just tell me what you got to say, huh? Make it fast. We had about enough of you for one day. I told you before and I'll tell you again. The Cheyenne will be back. So put some more guards out tonight or the town's gonna be in trouble. Well, you're the one that's been telling me how peaceful the Cheyenne are. How I should leave them alone, they'll leave us alone. How come a sudden change of tune, huh? Did you have a little spat with your Indian girl, huh? The <laughs> army must have been awful hard up for captains to make you one. But I know these people and I'm warning you. Hey, quiet, quiet. Quiet, everybody. Now listen. Hey, uh, you gotta hear something. Tate here says that the Cheyenne are gonna attack tonight. 
uh, the reason he's not talking very good sense, I think, is because he hasn't had anything to drink. <laughs> well, I say the Cheyenne will never attack. Come on, let's vote on, huh? All those who agree with Tate, sing out I. What are they going to do? Come piggyback? <laughs> We're going to have another vote. We've got a regular democracy here, huh? Tate says that we ought to put out more guards. And I say that Tate is afraid of the Indians. That's why he thinks we ought to put out more guards. <laughs> All right. Now, how many of you think we ought to put out more guards? Let's see out. Not you, honey. You're guarding me today. Say that, baby. Say good night, say that, go on home. <laughs> like a good little boy, huh? <laughs> go either just because some old Indian got killed it was the Indians that killed my mother and father he's not my father he's my uncle he can't make me Billy Tate loves you he's been everything to you mother father brother all wrapped into one well, I know but you don't think it's such a good idea do you Amy going away I don't like to see you go either of you but why can't he be like everyone else in town they all wanted to see the Indians moved out I'm sure Tate does, too, only I... I guess he doesn't hate them anymore. Do you? I, I don't know. I, I think I still do. Well, I'll run away. I will, Amy. I'll take my pony and run away. Hello, Amy. Billy. Hello, Tate. Billy tells me you two are leaving Sand Creek tomorrow. I'm not going to like losing my two star boarders. With your cooking, I'm sure these rooms won't be empty for long, Willie Billy. Well, I'm not gonna go. Uh, looks like nobody wants to go with me. Well, I'm not gonna go, honest, Tate. You'll see. Well, how about bed, Billy? Can you go there? It's pretty late. Well, I'm not gonna go. You'll see. Why? Well, guess he's gonna give me some trouble. Where will you go, Tate? I haven't figured yet. We'll find a place. Why are you really leaving? Because I'm tired of Indian fights, that's why. You're sure there's, there's no other reason? That's it. That and the fact that I don't think we have a right to pass our hate on to kids like Billy. He doesn't even care that Yellow Wolf was murdered. He thinks like everybody else. The old Indian had it coming to him. I'm going to miss Billy. He's, he's been my son. I'll miss you both. We'll miss you too, Amy. But I don't know what else we can do. There is one thing you could do, Tate. Billy, Billy needs a home, a family, where he can grow up under normal conditions, like his friends. This way, he's all alone, and, and so are you, and, and so am I. Yeah, I, I know. We could make it work, Tate. I'll be sensible. We Amy. could, Tate. I'd make you a good wife. We, we'd be happy together. We agreed not to talk about that. I'm so lonesome. And I love you. I love you, Tate. I better go see about Billy. Good night, old-timer. I'll see you tomorrow. Hey, I said good night.
Why do we have to go away, Tate? Now, Billy, you go to sleep and we'll talk about it tomorrow. Just because some old Indian got killed. Is that why? No. No, that's not it. Well, I like it here. It's our home. It's the Indian's home, too, Billy. They don't like leaving any more than you do. But we licked them. That's right. But we don't have to keep on. A lot of people don't understand that. And because they don't understand, they're afraid of them. You know what I'm trying to say? Everybody says you used to be the best Indian fighter of them all. Oh, I hate Indians. They killed my dad and mom. I hate them. And I hate you. And I'm glad the old chief's dead. doesn't want to go. I don't blame him. The Cheyenne are the ones who should get out, not Billy. You thought so too once. I've learned a lot about him since then. Maybe you've had a better teacher than the rest of us. Maybe you think you've learned, but you haven't. They're dirty. They're uncivilized. They're not fit to live near us. And you'll find out. I'm finding out a lot of things. We've got a right to hate them. I lost my husband. Billy lost his mother, your sister. And everybody else in town has lost somebody. So have the Indians. They've paid plenty. It's different with them. They're savages. Maybe you'd like to know what a savage girl does when her savage father's murdered. She cries. She cries just as hard as you did when John was killed.
Folks, little Billy's gone. A lot more of us are going to be if we don't do something about the Cheyenne. Captain George was sent here to get rid of them. But they're still here. I don't know why the captain ain't got rid of them. Maybe that he's just trying to be nice and showing charity. Well, charity's fine when you can afford it. But we can afford it no more when they start to kill our children. So I say no more be nice. From now on, our town don't rest, not until every last one of them's out of here or dead. And as God's my witness, it's dead, I'd rather see them. And if Captain George can't do the job, then we'll do it ourselves. Now we'll all pray silently. I need your help. I'm sorry about the boy. I think it's snappy. I got work to do. What do you think they'll do? What do you think they'll do? You're supposed to be in charge around here, Captain. That's right. Get stinking drunk. Pass out again. When they come back this time, maybe they'll leave you for dead. That'd suit you just fine, wouldn't it, Captain? Oh, I don't think they'll be back. Then you got no worries. Hey, wait a minute. Get your hands off. Oh, we gotta do something. Look, you were right when you said they'd be back. We don't have enough guns or horses now. We can't defend ourselves. Neither could Yellow Wolf or Billy. But they'll massacre the whole town. We don't stand a chance. Not according to what I heard out there. Town's out for blood. They don't know that the Cheyenne took most of our guns. But you know, don't you, Captain? You massacre the whole town, I tell you. Well, that's the way it goes with murder. First an old man, then a small boy. And maybe next, a scared captain. Who knows? Look, I, I, I was thinking that... Uh, well, I, I was thinking of an idea that might save us. Uh, at least it would keep them off of us for a while until help gets here. You see, I, I sent for reinforcements, but it'll be three or four days before they can get here. And... Uh, I was thinking that uh, if you could get a hold of that little Indian girl of yours and, uh, you know, try to get her to influence her brother some... Well, the whole town knows that she'd do anything for you. It's... Oh, yeah. After Little Wolf. Billy would still be alive if it weren't for him. If you're gonna blame somebody, blame Captain George, not Little Wolf. If he isn't to blame, then why are you going to kill him? I've got no choice. If I don't stop him, he'll come back with his men and destroy the whole town. If they do, the army will do the same to them when they get here. Yeah, only we won't be around to see it. Why do you always take the Indian side? I'm not. I'm only giving you the truth. 
The truth is, little Wolf is pretty Willow's brother. If you weren't in love with her, you wouldn't be wasting time talking. You'd be riding out fast enough to revenge Billy. I'm ashamed of you, Amy. I've got to kill a man I don't want to kill. I've got to murder to keep you and all the rest of them from being murdered. And you tell me to hurry up about it? Hate's twisted you, Amy, like a disease. It's written on your face when you talk. It eats you up inside. Pretty soon somebody catches it from you. Then there's a whole epidemic. And that's what this town's got, an epidemic of hate, a disease. And love is a disease, too. It's made you blind, Tate. You're blind. Go to your Indian girl. That's where you're going, isn't it? I was hoping you'd be here. My brother made me come. Why? Find out what Captain George will do next. Could there be another reason? You wanted to see me? Yes. with you, Tate. Don't you want to go? More than anything else. But I can't now. But you said this is not our I know place. I said it. Now it is. Tell me something, Willow. Will Little Wolf attack again? Did he say when? Is there any way to stop it? There's no way to stop them. That means a lot of people are going to get killed. Take me away. Please, Tate, please. I can't let a whole town get massacred. My brother can't be stopped. He's got to be stopped. Please take me away, Tate. Please.
Huh? Tate. What do you think? I don't know. everybody. Town looks like a graveyard. Captain George called a meeting after you left. He said the Cheyenne might attack any time to stay inside. Captain George is too scared to know what he's talking about. Everybody should be outside building a blockade. You're a blockade, Tate. Everybody's depending on you. They know you set out after Little Wolf. Well? I didn't find him. The whole town's anxious to hear. I told you I didn't find him. I'll look again tomorrow. I'm gonna pack up. I won't be boarding here any longer. I don't believe you. You don't believe what? That you didn't find a little wolf. Like I said, I'll look for him again tomorrow. Claims that he uh, never even saw Little Wolf, huh? That's right, Captain. He says he won't be boarding with me any longer. He's back there packing his things now. He says he's going out again after Little Wolf tomorrow. Where'd he get the gold? He's been with the girl. Pretty Willow? You couldn't be a little jealous of that Indian girl, could you? Not jealous, Captain. I'm disgusted to think he could prefer an Indian girl to... ...and frightened that if something isn't done, and done quickly, we'll all be massacred. Don't you worry, Mrs. Porter. I got an idea how to handle this whole thing. Thanks for coming to me about it, huh? Here. Better take the gold. Thank you. The girl and the gold, too. That's a temptation that nobody can pass up, not even Mr. Tate. Looks like he's made a deal with him. Sure does. What do you got in mind, Captain? Well, I was thinking that I'd uh, send somebody over to the Cheyenne village to talk to Little Wolf and have him tell him that uh, Tate is out to kill him. What good's that gonna do? Little Wolf hates Tate. As soon as he's convinced that Tate is out to kill him, he'll want to tangle with him. And while they're slugging it out, we'll surround him. Like shooting ducks in the brow, Captain. Yeah, that's right. If you think it's necessary, promise him anything. Just so we stall him off for a while until help gets here. attack? Tomorrow our father will be avenged. You act in anger. My sister listens too well to others. Tate speaks the truth. If you attack, we die. It may be. I called all of you here to tell you what our situation is. You see that you pass it on to the others when you leave, huh? In the first place, Tate didn't do what he set out to do. Kill Little Wolf. Not only didn't kill him, but we have very good reason to believe that he's made a deal with him. Of course, that's no surprise to some of us, knowing how he feels about the Indian, especially that Indian girl is. Where is he? 
Mrs. Porter just told me that he's over at her place right now, packing up his things. Maybe we ought to go help the traitor pack. Yeah. This calls for a going away party. What are we waiting for? Not so fast now, boys. Not so fast. We're going to take care of him, all right? I got a plan for him I'm going to tell you about. But it means we have to keep him alive a little longer. Doing prospecting, Mr. Tate? My gear's all packed. When I get located, I'll send for it. Don't bother. I'll just send it on to the Indian village in care of the Indian girl. You're a mighty pretty woman, Amy. Too pretty and too young to be alone. You get lonely, bitter, and all tensed up. What you need, Mrs. Porter, is a man. from Captain George. The captain doesn't want to fight the Cheyenne. Too many on both sides will be killed. Proof of his feeling for the Cheyenne, he sends the word that Tate's riding out to kill you. Does he speak the truth? Your captain lies as a white man's trap. It's no lie. The night you raided us, Tate's boy, his nephew, was killed. Now speak the truth. I'm telling the truth. Tate's coming to kill you. He tried today. Tomorrow he'll try again. The captain wanted you to know. Show his good feeling. He promises you can stay here. And dig for the gold, too. But if you don't believe me, send her to find out. If you speak the truth to Little Wolf, I'll let you return to your village. Tate will tell me the truth. Will he be there? He'll be there. I was coming. It's getting late. It took me a little while to pack. I wasn't sure you'd be here. Last time you left, you were pretty angry. Take me away, Tate. There's still time. You promised to take me. 
like my brother's going to attack her. When? Tomorrow. Will you stop him? Somebody has to. I tried to kill him. I couldn't pull the trigger. It's the wrong time for us, Tate. It's not right to love one's enemy. We've got to stop Little Wolf. That's our only chance. Nobody can. I'm sleeping out here tonight. You tell Little Wolf I'm coming after him tomorrow. Maybe someday. Your captain has spoken the truth. Sure he has. And he was telling the truth when he said you can stay here, if you don't attack. Where is Tate now? Where is Tate? White men have killed our father. Taken our home, sent the Cheyenne away. Where is Tate? Where is he? There's been enough killing. All Tate wants is that you don't attack Sand Creek. Then he won't have to come for you. He'll not have to come for Little Wolf. At the river place. You'll take me there tomorrow, before sunrise. You can go. Tell your captain to come here alone. Little Wolf will not attack before we talk. Agreed to talk to you before they attack. He did, huh? Well, that's very nice of him. We'll talk, all right. With ease. Where's this river place we're taking your me? It's about halfway between here and the Cheyenne village. I'll move the company out at five o'clock. When we get to the spot where they're gonna meet, we'll surround the area. And when Little Wolf and Tate get together for the little party, like ducks in a barrel, huh? Even see you. For a minute, I thought you were.
Glad to see you, Lieutenant. Sergeant Bell will take care of you. I'll drink it, you. You'll feel better. You haven't had a thing since they brought you. I used to wonder what Tate could see in an Indian girl. Now I see. Was was he going to take you away with him? You always talked about it. Were you going to be married? You loved him, didn't you? This was his room, you know. You loved him. He loved you. At least you'll always have that. Morning, Mr. Porter. Well, all's well that ends well, huh? Yes, Captain. How about the girl? Any trouble? No. No trouble. Ah, uh, that's good. Knowing how you feel, I, uh, I certainly appreciated you letting us stay here last night. You don't know the first thing about how I feel. She happens to be very nice. Oh, well, they're all very nice. Just got to keep them in their place, that's all. And where's that, Captain? Well, you know that as well as I do. Out of these hills of ours. And we're moving about today. Well, it's not bad, huh? Considering what might have happened. Now, well, you can bring the girl down now, please, huh? I'm going to take her back to her village with me. Will she be leaving with the rest of them? Well, I haven't made up my mind about that. No. I don't suppose you have, Captain. Why the sudden change, Mrs. Porter? I thought that you especially would be glad that we're finally getting the Indians out of here. We beat them, didn't we? Uh, yeah, we sure did. They're nothing but the losers now. Are they, Captain? I wonder. Tate lost his life. I lost two people I love. And you, you don't even know it. But you lost more than any of us. 
Oh. No, Mrs. Porter, not me. Oh, yes, you have, Captain. You're in real trouble now. With them gone, there's no one left here to hate but yourself. I'll go get the girl, Captain. Good work, Captain. Good work. Any doubt about our friend Tate? There's no doubt about him at all. He had enough lead in him to sink a riverboat. How are you? Everything all right? I've decided to let you stay on here. If you, uh, if you ever need anything, uh, just let me know. Here's something I need right away. That gold. The gold. You know where it is, don't you? Don't you? Yes. Good. That's where you're going to take me. Wages of sin, huh, Captain? Willow, get back. Me and the Captain have a little unfinished business. Don't we, Captain? Tate? There's lots of stuff around here. There's plenty for both of us. Half of you, half of me, huh? Maybe you want more than half, huh? You name it. You just name it. Why do they have to go? I'm not so sure about that myself. It's like I told you. Things change. You either fight it, or you learn to live with it. They had to fight. They had to lose. It's almost like it was planned that way from the beginning. The change is bad. That depends upon whose side you're on. If everything changes, what will happen when someone comes who will try and take this land away from the white men? I don't know. I never gave it much thought. Could it happen? Yeah. Yeah, I guess it could. And will the white men fight for their homes, the same as the Cheyenne? Yeah. Just the same. 